Hi guys, welcome back to another hair video. So today's wig is from Ali Pearl Hair and today I'm working with the HD 5x5 Lace Closure Wigs. So this is a deep wave hair texture and it's a 26 inch wig. So this is the construction of the wig. As you can see, it's a 5x5 Lace Closure Wig. It comes with an elastic band on the inside and it's already attached to the wig as you can see, which is obviously amazing and it comes with some combs and adjustable straps at the back of the wig and this is what the hairline looks like so it comes with a natural hairline but i am going to go in and customize the hairline a bit more as well so you guys can see so this is what the knots look like at the moment you can get away with installing this wig like this just apply some foundation or powder and you're good to go but i'm going to bleach the knots to make it look a lot more natural and i'm going to pluck the hairline as well and also i would always recommend you pre-wash the hair before installing the wig because sometimes you get wigs and it kind of comes with this funny funky smell so it's nice like just pre-wash the hair and you know so to bleach the nuts on the closure i'm going to use a 40 volume developer and i'm going to use some bleach powder as well and you just want to make sure that the consistency is quite thick so you know it doesn't run through the lace so this is basically the consistency you want as you guys can see like it's so thick so this is just to prevent the bleach from running through the lace like you can try and stick this in and you can see it's not moving so yeah now i'm just going to go ahead and just spread this all over the lace I'm just gonna leave this on for about 30 to 35 minutes then I'm gonna wash it off now I'm gonna go ahead and use this purple shampoo to wash out the bleach and then I'm gonna go ahead and use this orange this no orange mask from Fanola so they're both from Fanola and I like using the both of them because it really does help with making the nuts look really really natural so yes you can go ahead and just use the purple shampoo but I feel like using this actually makes a big difference so you know yeah I use the both of them okay so I've bleached the nuts and this this is what it's currently looking like and also when it comes to the hair texture this is what the curls look like so you can see so now i'm just going to go ahead and customize the hairline so the first thing i like to do when i'm plucking my hairline is to use my hot comb i'm just going to use this to like just comb everything to the back and then we can start plucking so you hot combing the hair to the back kind of just helps you to see what you're working with and you know where to pluck and stuff like that so now i'm just going to go ahead and start plucking i don't have a specific technique that i follow but i just try and pluck everything going towards the back and just make sure that the hairline looks as natural as possible so And you can see the difference now i feel like for me this is fine so now we're just going to go ahead and install the wig and you guys look at how good the hd lace looks like this looks so good you can't even see where the lace is okay so now i'm going to go ahead and install this wig and the first thing i'm going to do is to apply some wax stick Now I'm going to go ahead and cut off the lace. I like to start off by cutting the sides off first and then cut the lace in chunks. So now 
the thing is you can actually decide to install this wig without gluing it down so this is how it looks without you gluing it down and it, and it does fit very snug on my hair but I'm gonna go ahead and use some holding spray just to melt the lace into my skin gonna go ahead and do some slight baby hairs so we can hide hide this basically So now for the baby hairs, I'm going to cut this slanted. So instead of cutting it straight like this, I'm actually going to cut downwards. So now I'm going to go ahead and slip down my baby hairs and I'm just using some um, gummy wax to do this. I'm gonna use some of my bed head spray um, just over my baby hairs just to you know make sure they stay in place and don't move. So I'm gonna take off the melt band now and then this should be done. Oh, I can't believe I cut this side so short. Guys, what is this? <laughs> I've cut it so short, but anyway. Okay, so here's what the wig looks like. I'm gonna apply some concealer down the middle just to make this stand out. This looks so clean. <laughs> I'm so happy about this because guys, normally I never get my um, middle part to be so straight. Like it's, it's usually one key, but today we try it, okay? So now I'm gonna define the curls by adding some hair mousse. I'm just gonna just, you know, just drench the hair in hair mousse basically. Okay, so here's the finished look and I just, oh, listen, and the fact that I've gone for like a no makeup makeup look today, I feel like this is just giving um, black girl magic, I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, so you guys, let me know what you think of today's install. So like I said, this wig is from Ali Pearl Hair. This is a 5x5 HD lace closure wig, so the hair texture is deep wave and this is a 26 inch. So the wig is literally up to here and it's a 200% density, but I just bring everything to the front. Like guys, this wig is so nice. And the wig is so fluffy, it doesn't require for you to do too much to it. I'll make sure to list all the links that you guys need in the description bar below. So please check below for anything you'd like to know and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.